tag match, maybe the match of the night, just uh, it's crazy good. The, uh, just everything, all the way through. The, the shock of Finn Balor being here at Johnny Saints, a genius. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Tony Storm, Rhea Ripley, I thought having a wonderful match. Just g g given the fact of everything that Tony's been through, Injury-wise, personally, everything else, I thought she had a spectacular night. And um, and then Joe Coffey and, uh, and Pete on the end, you know, Pete proving why he's, he is his brand right now to me. Um, and I think that uh, Joe Coffey proved a point. Somebody said to me backstage, it was like watching a boxing match inside of a car crash. <laughs> um, which I thought was a unique way of putting it, and I thought it, I thought it delivered on that level, um, for, from a, you know, a, just an aggression standpoint. And then, uh, but who knew Eddie Dennis was that strong? I certainly didn't. Uh, picking up Dave Mastiff and slinging him around, and then Walter walking out at the end uh, to stake a claim. When you think NXT UK can't get any bigger, the stars just keep on coming in, and the desire to be here, I can tell you right now, is very high. Um, a lot of people um, trying to walk in the door. It's about delivering product, not delivering hype. So, uh, and that's what we do across the board. When the NXT letters are on it, it delivers. So, um, with that, I'll turn it over to you. Hands up, question. We'll start with it. James Elo. James Elo from the Gorilla Position. Um, you mentioned the crowd and how fantastic they were tonight. What, what do you think when they chant things like, Vince McMahon, are you watching? I wondered how many questions in <laughs> we get before that uh, question got asked. Uh, it's funny that Pete Dunn just said to me backstage, when I heard that chant, I just wanted to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> um, look, the, the beautiful thing about what we do is exactly that. You express your opinions. You express it vocally and loud. We are the first product, I think, in the world where that crowd participation was not just a part of it, like boot cheer or whatever. That's a, that's a sport, but it's what we go after. I'm not saying directly that chant, right? But it's the participation of what we do. It is the involvement. The you know, you know, in sports they talk about being the the. I'm not a big sports fan, but whatever the, what is it, the sixth player on the, on the court or whatever, right? Like, whatever that is. Uh, and here, it's, it, man, there is much a part of what it is, right? Like, an awesome crowd can make something unbelievable, you know? Something good, unbelievable. An awesome crowd that has the energy that was here tonight can turn uh, something great into just magic that you'll never forget. And part of that is that ability to express your opinion, no matter what it is. And uh, I believe that uh, I just saw that uh, Vince tweeted out, uh, yes, I heard you, and yes, it was awesome. Um, that's what it is, I, I, I love it, I love it. And I want them to do that every single time. So that end, anybody up that end with a question? Yep. Yeah, and um, when you look back at your career and the highlights that you've had in and outside of the ring, coming out at the very end of the first ever NXT UK takeover, how does it compare after the, the roof came off this place? So for me, that wasn't about me. That like I was just back there and I watched those guys come back, and to me, I just wanted to take a minute to come out and go like, thank you, right? Blackpool. This started in Blackpool two years ago. We came here and said we're gonna we're gonna build an empire, and uh, they were the bricklayers, right? So I, I wanted to just here we are two years later. It seemed like a long time while it was happening, but here we are two years later. Weekly show, um, you know, NXT UK champion Pete Dunne, 600 plus days. Rhea Ripley and now Tony Storm as as NXT UK women's champion, new tag team champions. A weekly show, PC here. Built an empire off the off the back of that reaction. Trust me, if we'd have been here the first time and there would have been no reaction, it might have taken a lot longer than two years. So the, the, this is this is what it's built on. I, I, it wasn't a plan. I didn't intend to come out. I just there was a moment, and I was just like, oh, I just want to go out and go like, thank you very much. Like appreciate it. We I love it. 
please give us more and we'll continue to give you more. So it was, it was just a, a raw moment. As far as how it compares, it's apples and oranges, you know. Um, but I think Sean would echo this statement. I think William Regal would echo this statement. I think Matt Bloom would echo this statement. Anybody that's been in the ring that now comes to this side of it, um, it's as much, if not more, gratification. It's, it's, people joke about it all the time and call me Papa H or whatever. And like, uh, it really is. It's the difference between going out there and, and winning something yourself and then watching your kids do it, <clears throat> right? The feeling is totally different. Both are as rewarding as could possibly be. Come to the same again, instead of Spain. Hello, Paul. You know, I say it every time we do one of these, whether it's in the U.S., whether we do it here, the next step is to try and beat the one you just did. Um, it becomes difficult, right? It's just, but it's just um, trying to go out there and deliver the best product you can. Being a fan, uh, I sit back there and I'm a fan. I watch this stuff. And just, what do I want to see? What would I, what would I want to create and, and go do it? Um, it's listening to them. But it's what, what, what the next step is, is just as big as it is right now, making it bigger. Again, uh, that's very good because I know that's not your first language. That was very, very good. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a quality, it's a quality yeah. question delivered in a quality manner. You should be proud of yourself. Can we go back to that end? Any more questions from that end? We've got Emma right at the end for the question. creating the future of this. It's creating the... In some way, I'm just the kid sitting home, watching on my couch, thinking this is the greatest form of entertainment I've ever seen, <coughs> and wanting it to continue, wanting it to be bigger than it is now, wanting every kid out there to have that opportunity. If he's sitting on his couch, if she's sitting on her couch watching this, I don't know why I always say couch or chair, whatever they're sitting <laughs> um, But if they're sitting there watching this, and, and they're like me. When that match got done tonight, when the show got over tonight here, uh, you know, I'd go home, I'd go go in my room, wouldn't be able to sleep. I'd be geeked out of my mind, up all night, just buzzing. Um, I want them to be, if, if that's their passion, and they think this is the greatest form of entertainment of all time, I want to go try to do this. Then we're going to give you the path to get here and live that dream. Right? And when they do that, it's magic. And it's the coolest thing in the world. Because you know what it was to you. So to see them go do that, it's hard to describe how cool it is. From the center, Alex. I thought, uh, Alex from TalkSport. Say it loud so everybody can hear, sorry. Alex McCarthy from TalkSport. Uh, I just want to bring promo to... class in here. Let <laughs> 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 you guys talk louder. Uh, I just wanted to ask a question about uh, Travis Banks. Obviously, he missed out uh, tonight. Uh, it was an amazing moment for Finn Balor to come in. Uh, is was he okay? Is it was it purely a booking decision? Um, how did that go down? It's about launching a brand tonight. Um, he's extremely cool with it. You know, um, she's the the betterment for right? that put a lot of eyeballs, mm -hmm. um, and it and it and it puts a lot of stamp on the brand and what that means for Finn Balor to come here and do that and it's not certainly not the end of that story right no. they're going to get their moment exciting moment and all that stuff part of me hates taking the moment away from him but it's for the betterment of everybody right so you have to do what's right for everybody in the brand and all that stuff and his you know in some way uh, everybody worked hard tonight but his sacrifice almost means more because it was for the betterment. He saw the big picture, and when we told him, he was like, oh, oh yeah, and okay, that's great. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, this is for the betterment of, for everybody, and, and um, I think everybody knows it. You know, one of the cool things about NXT, and, and even the Performance Center brings it out, I think you heard Pete say it the other day, everybody coming together now. It used to be they were just all guys that had worked shows together before, and hey, how you doing, whatever, and now all of a sudden they're working in this PC together, and they're, they're a team, they're working together. Um, it's a different vibe. It's a family. It's a team. It's it's um, 
It's working for a greater good and a cause, which is really what all this is, right? It's 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 about the overall product, not the individual, mm -hmm. um, and that's uh, that's the way he took it because he's a pro, you know. Thank you. We're going to go international. So who from the international guys? Right, William. Sure. International women. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, she's got a question. After. We no, go. we'll go here next? first. We're we're going. Going. I don't want to ruin your authority because you went there. But. Sure, William from Al Arabiya, Middle yeah. East. So, do you have a specific plan on to when the next takeover will happen? Is this going to be a yearly thing? Or are you still waiting for certain measurements of success? And... Can I just enjoy this one? <laughs> <laughs> right? Can I just leave here and go like, yeah, that's cool. Get on my flight, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, you just got to figure it out now, right? Mm. There's clearly a plan in place. There's clearly a next step that we've thought of. But it really depends on where you are tonight as to where you go in the next steps. You know, um, a lot of these talent are going to come over to the U.S., you've seen Worlds Collide promoted and you know they're gonna come over to the US uh, during uh, Rumble weekend and we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of stuff there with 205 and NXT and, and NXT UK uh, in a tournament um, WrestleMania weekend they'll be a big part of there, there's a lot of next steps as far as individually of takeover here we're just we gotta, we gotta go back and figure that out so it's a little bit of planning that needs to take place Strategically, where we want it and how we want it. How about one extra? Good, good choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Kay from BC One Extra. Um, would you consider a cross brand NXT and NXT UK pay per view? Yeah, I would consider anything, right? I, to me, you never say never. A wise man taught me that a long time ago, named Vince. Um, never say never, and you just go where you want it to. Where, where you think everybody wants it to go. Could that happen? Yeah, I, I do think, I want, it to, I want to establish this, right? We establish that, I want to establish this. There's other things we want to establish and get them going, but at the right period of time, when they're built up, nothing cooler than having empires go up against empires, and right? So to me, there's, there's that opportunity, and, and who knows what form that takes, but when you talk about global, it seems almost like some kind of World Cup. You know what I mean? Um, and that can be very meaningful. One more international. We've got two more, so we'll just do one international, and we'll come back here. You're not international, you're Scottish. <laughs> kind of. It's kind of very international. Kind of. It's almost, it's almost close. Any more international, guys? You got any questions over there? No? Enough from Italy? <coughs> right. Let's go Neil. <laughs> Daily Mirror. Um, there's been a lot of interest, a lot of talk, a lot of interest in WWE and signing Walters for a long time. Um, what were the issues, if there were issues, in getting the deal over the line? And what do you think it's going to bring to the brand now here? I don't know if it was issues as much as it was just like there was a really cool moment down the line to debut them. It's, uh, sometimes you just want to hold your powder, you know. Um, I think he brings everything Walter brings to the table. Um, you know, it's an interesting thing when you're when you're signing talent coming in, especially coming off of indies or having a reputation on the indies. Being in the indies and being here, being uh, on a world stage is a different thing. Um, just like going from you know an, an NXT brand to a Raw or SmackDown, there's transitions. Some fit better than others. It's, it's a different thing. Are my expectations really really high? Absolutely. He has all the potential in the world to be a big star on a global basis, so um, I think he brings a lot to the table, and I'm I'm really looking forward to getting rolling with it, you know? Last question, unless it's a bad one, Kenny. <laughs> no pressure. Um, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Kenny Martin touched from the Daily Record Inside the Ropes. We talked yesterday, kind of at length, about NXT and NXT UK, and the idea that they are not lower than the main roster or Raw and SmackDown, and that there's kind of an idea of having it all be within the same umbrella in different parts. And a lot of people have been kind of talking about it, sharing about it ever since you said that yesterday. So I have to ask about the end of tonight's show when we saw Pete Dunne and Walter face off. One of the inevitable questions might be, is that something that maybe could be on the takeover of WrestleMania weekend? Because we saw Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate in Chicago before. A lot of people called it match of the year. Um, is, is that something that you guys may be thinking about? I mean, you're not going to tell me right now, but like, is that something that you think could be? No, you're right. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good prediction there. Um, yeah, look again, never say never, right? So as as that weekend comes closer, you know, as, as Brooklyn comes closer, which is sold out, 
uh, already. Um, where, do, where do we want to take it? What is the biggest show that I can put out there for the NXT universe? And whether that's uh, a bit of NXT UK, a bit of NXT, what, whatever that is, whatever the biggest thing we can put out there is, that's what I want to put out there. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's a possibility. Yes, I think, uh, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but, it's, but, but there's a definite possibility of doing that. I expect that to be huge. I expect the build on that to be epic, and I expect it to be huge. Um, but we'll see, we'll see the direction it takes as well. It doesn't mean just because they stood in the ring and looked at each other that it's a straight shot, right? So uh, we, see what, we see how that plays out. It's a funny thing in today's world, though. Everybody wants to fix now. This is stupid. Why don't they do that? Because no, I'm going to do it here. And, like, you know, go along for the ride. Take it. Sometimes, you know, you just put the giant loop de loop in the front end of the roller coaster. It's not as cool as if it's at the end, right? Like, just <laughs> go for the ride. Enjoy it. Guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Paul, thank you very much. Thank, thank you guys you. very thank much. You. I really thank appreciate you. the support over here. Thank you. Jeremy Moore.